What up, convoy? Just woke up a little bit ago, trying to figure out what was going on here. And actually, I had lost all hope for going home today. Thought I was going to work Saturday. Originally, I was supposed to pick up a load out of Speedway this morning, or Indy. When I say Speedway, I mean Indy. When I say Indy now, I mean Speedway. It's one and the same on this Coca-Cola deal. But uh, I was originally supposed to go to Speedway, Coca-Cola, and pick up a load going to Anderson, Indiana, just north of Indy a little bit, not that far. For those of you uh, who are familiar, it's uh, Anderson, Indiana is where the uh, Nest Quick Bunny and the Nestle factory is over there off 69. So I was supposed to go there and then come back down to Speedway and do a load over to Huber Heights, Ohio, which is Dayton, and then figure out what was going on from there. Probably going to go, was supposed to go back down to Cincinnati and hopefully find a load going north anywhere. And I, at that point, when I, uh, I've heard that plan, I was like, all right, I already lost hope. I was already expecting to work on Saturday, which is not a big deal. I had stuff to do, but whatever, you know. Uh, I like this account enough where I'm not going to bitch and moan about working a Saturday every now and again. Sometimes I volunteer for it even. And now uh, being that we have uh, a lot of people screwing up on this account, because a lot of people, they're not intentionally screwing up. There's a lot of confusion, chaos going on because we just expanded the account a few weeks ago and there's a ton of brand new people uh, on this account and uh, there's just naturally there's going to be some confusion when everything's this new. So I'm willing to stay out a little bit longer, work a little bit harder to make sure that this account stays on its feet and we don't piss off the customer. Well, that being said, I uh, started doing my pre-trip and uh, my dispatcher called me and he said, hey, forget about those two loads. Go up to Portland, Indiana. We got a load coming out of there. Going to Twinsburg, just drop that load off. If they have a load to Michigan, take it. If not, just go home for the weekend. So my dispatcher did me a real, real good solid. Part of the reason why I wanted to uh, announce who I worked for because uh, things like what my dispatcher just did has always happened since I've worked here. I do believe that people within this company recognize the hard workers and people who put out the extra effort and when it comes a uh, time where that employee who works hard wants to, uh, wants to get something done, they work with you to, to get your priorities done. So that's another reason why I wanted to say who I worked for. but. We went over that yesterday, and that's not going to happen. But anyway, um, got my pre-trip all done, and I'm about to uh, put her in gear and get her on up to Portland, Indiana. It's a Coca-Cola up there. Never been to that one before, so I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. I'm not even sure if this is a live load or a drop and hook, or because I've never been there before. So, so I'm about to stick her in the gear and uh, put her in the wind. yesterday it's continuing today I'm supposed to go to Portland here to pick up a load going to Twinsburg and then on to the house but uh, I went up uh, I-69 tried to get off on uh, 28 
go east and uh, right off of 69, well three miles east of 69, I said the road was closed so I said okay I'll go up to uh, 28, go east from there and cut over and uh, started making my way east and then into Hartford City, 26 is closed. So I'm um, figuring I go back south now and uh, I'll get back to 28 and hopefully I'm east of the road closure. And if that's not the case, then I just have to continue going south here to find a route going east and then come back up again. But uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the old curse of the home load. Never fails, never ever fails. Yeah, not cool. Now I'm just kind of roaming the uh, the backwoods of Indiana here, hoping I don't run into any truck restrictions or anything. I see plenty of trucks on this road. I'm not really familiar with the area too much, so I just got to keep my head on a swivel and uh, not run into any sticky situations. Everything uh, from what I've seen around here is pretty well marked. Uh, it says, you know, truck restricted or no truck, stuff like that. It's going to stay out of those areas, but but you never know. you got to keep alert in these situations. It's really not too big of a deal being out in the country like this. I'd much rather kind of be in this situation uh, out, out in the middle of nowhere rather than in a big city. You know, they actually have some room out here in a rural area. Uh, to maneuver around and get yourself out of a tight spot if, uh, if you need. Rather than a big city, you're just kind of screwed if you wind up in a bad situation. So, so uh, I will uh, try to get east of here. Hopefully, 28 is open off of this road, but uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. Portland, Indiana, I figure it wouldn't be that big of a deal to get to. I don't know why they have two major roads going east off of 69 there, shut down like that. But uh, it's probably something that I'm just I'm not aware of. There's probably some easier route in that I'm not uh, aware of. It's definitely a possibility. Like I said, I don't uh, haven't roamed the uh, the backwoods of Indiana too much, so probably something I'm just unaware of and uh, if it is hopefully I run into it here pretty soon Things seem to just work out for me perfect just now. So I picked up my load. It took a little while. Not a big deal. It was a couple hours I was waiting around there. And uh, picked up 41,500 pounds of uh, energy drinks. And that is going to Twinsburg, but it does not have to be there until Monday. 
And uh, my dispatch told me, he says, uh, when you pick that load up, just uh, put her in the wind of the house. Go home for the weekend. Have a good weekend. So that worked out great. Because if I were to deliver this load, I'd be home I don't know, around midnight-ish. Yeah, around there. And uh, now, I'm going to be home about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Decent hour to get in home on Friday. Miles, turn left to South Main Street. Oh, really? No. Well, yeah, yeah. So. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it. And uh, things just kind of worked out. My dispatcher did me a solid hooking me up with this load. It turns out load don't even have to be there till Monday. Now I just get to go home. That, uh, that's a pure, pure win right there. Not complaining about that, but stuff works out that great. Yeah, and I'm, uh, obviously I was in, uh, it was not too far away from Muncie, Indiana. It was uh, Portland, Indiana. And uh, I didn't have to go through back through all those road closures and figure my way through there because I'm going the other way from that. Obviously, I'm going east, northeast, and uh, that stuff was west of me, so I got to worry about it. So, things just uh, fell into place just perfectly. So, it's going to be, I got about another 160 miles till I'm uh, at the truck stop, and uh, I'll be going home from there.